What's up guys, it's Zed and this is episode 18 of the FIFA 22 player career mode with Conrad Zan. We are 28 goals, 10 assists and we have just played 20 matches. So that is 38 goal contributions in 20 matches and we are really at the top of our form. Uh, by, this time, by this time at the beginning of this series, uh, we hadn't done this good. And I, I mean, it's, it's, it's expected because we're a much better player and there's really nothing much to say i mean last episode was really good for us because we we're finally able to show liverpool who the fuck conrad zan was and we completely demolished them under five minutes like like it was that crazy i'm not even like five real minutes like five in-game minutes that's how fast we got those two goals if you guys did watch that video make sure to go back and actually check that episode out and also the previous episodes that you didn't watch i mean if you haven't watched this series from the beginning make sure to Go back, click on the first episode, and I promise it's actually really, really cool. Alright, so Leipzig is on our tail. Bayern Munich are four points behind us, and we need to win more matches and not lose any matches or draw any matches in order to pull away from Leipzig because any slip up and they're like jumping up to first. Alright, so for this episode, we're going to be simming these two matches the one with Hertha BSC and this DFB Pokal match. Hopefully, we can. Hopefully Dortmund should win it. I mean, we should because we're home against that team. I have no idea who the fuck they are. Then we should play the one against um, VFL Stuttgart, then AS Monaco, and the one against Leipzig. Now, that should be all for this episode. I mean, if anything happens and we have to play a full match, then, I mean, we're going to have to remove a couple matches from the episode. But let's just hope that doesn't happen and we're actually able to finish all the matches that we're supposed to finish in this episode. Alright, so we're going to be filling this work full health, so let's hope that we can get the win and also get a goal. No, we do not. We actually draw, but we score either way. So I think uh, Leipzig might actually get ahead of us, but let's hope not. We didn't get any of the managers victory there, as you guys saw briefly. But I mean, it's still good that we're scoring in the Sims. And I mean, I feel like I just jinxed it. Hopefully I didn't. And I, I actually didn't. And we actually lost. We're actually out of the freaking DFB Pokal. How the fuck did we lose to whoever the fuck that is? Alright, so that's one less trophy for us this season. And like I said, these two teams just completely went ahead of us. Even if, even though we are one, even though we have a game at hand, we have to win this match against VFB Stuttgart in order to get back up the top of the table. So I think they actually both drew their other matches because it's exactly how it was. Because if I win this, I'm going to be... Oh shit, it wasn't actually. Bayern actually like got, got closer to us. That is, that is bad. Alright, so once again, we are in the shortlist for the Bundesliga player of the month. And we're most likely going to win it if... I think we're most likely going to win it because we scored in every single match last month. So, I mean, I really don't care because like... I've gotten like a lot of these awards. So, all right, let's hope that we can do something against VFB Stuttgart. I think the last time we faced them, we won them. I think that was in the first season I ever played in Dortmund. But I mean, let's just see what we can do. The cameras are fixed to one man. Will he add to his total of four goals from his last three? This is EA TV. Hello everyone, well this can be a rainy part of Germany and rain in store for us today here at the Signal Iduna Park. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position and I'm joined for analysis. Alright, so it's the match against VFB Stuttgart. We are coming into the match right now and our objectives are to get an 8.5 rating, get a team possession of 55% and have a dribble success rate of 65% because I'm enhancing that to from 50 to 60. So let's hope that we can do something in this match. I always say that because, you know, you never really know this AI, especially on Legendary, they just like completely fuck up sometimes and it's actually quite annoying. But, I mean, Dortmund hasn't done any of that lately. And that in, that in itself is really good. So I'll talk to you guys after the match. Not troubling the keeper in central defence. And it's two strikers up front who will look to provide the goal-scoring threat. Oh, big moment here, Derek. A goal in the early stages, precisely what they had been planning.
Well, he wasn't going to waste this chance. 1v1 against the keeper, and he slots it away with great confidence. That's a good finish. Mark Oliver Kemp. So. And fed forwards. Wonderful block. And a goal! They've added to the lead. Much needed security. Well, here it is again. And what a perfect cross. Opportunity for them to get back into the game. Keeper getting the touch. Well, he stumped it. It is a decent looking attack here. It might be on for them. Now, this could really lift spirits. And never in any doubt from the keeper. one for them to pursue palms away by the keeper well let's see what they have in store for them on the break Zan well that is how to run at defenders and he smacks it against the crossbar well I thought that good tackle it'll Right, so that was the end of my match and well I saw myself off I don't know why it didn't show but funny how I actually spoke about um Borussia Dortmund doing really well at the beginning of that match and they, they just completely fucked the whole match off like I don't even understand what the fuck they were doing in defense today like how, how how was it so hard to just do like to just keep the ball like just keep on doing shit and giving me shit service just reminded me of FE Braga all over again but whatever I mean I know that we have dropped we have dropped points and we are now third on the table because it just couldn't do anything right in that whole match but thankfully we are oh crap sorry about the um sound and change with the microphone uh we are in level 24 now so I think there should be a chance for us to um get to an 86 rating thereabouts i'm not sure if that's going to happen but let's hope it is my skill moves i mean i don't really need skill moves all that much and uh i mean i'm done with everything here except from this skill move and what i really need right now is my agility is my balance and attacking position cost two and this one is agility and attacking position as well so i'm just going to go for this two right here and our dribbling should be pretty much done all that's left is this skill move and this maestro archetype and i was right we we're actually able to get to an 86 rated overall and we actually also did get the player of the month for november if you guys saw on the screen on the right in that place and we are on top of the table we are in nine points liverpool is on nine points and as monaco is on nine is on nine points so all we need to do is win this match if we if we draw it, AS Monaco is going to be ahead of us or, okay, we're going to have higher goal difference. So we're going to be ahead if we draw the match. But then if we lose it, Liverpool is going to, Liverpool and AS Monaco are, go, are going to be through. So we absolutely cannot lose this match. Like, it is not possible for us to lose this match. It comes down to this. Three points will guarantee their place in the knockout stages. Stay tuned. It's live on EA TV. All right, so this is the big match. If we do not win this match, we are not going to go through to the, to the round of 16 in the Champions League. So we're supposed to get a match rating of 8.5, a dribble success rate of 50, and complete 10 attacking passes so we're going to just like enhance this one to 65 because i mean that's our baby boy right there anyway so the last time we faced off with as monaco they beat us 4-1 or was it 3-1 and it was in our home so like 
they're basically like our toughest opponents so far and we actually have to just pull what we pulled at Liverpool and do something in this match and there we go like right? an offside straight away so come on boys you just have to be able to win this I mean we're the highest rated player in the team right now if I'm not wrong unless Yusuf Onaziri Ones has actually gotten another overall higher as well as us but okay this should be our chance and they actually blew it yeah they blew it I, I mean I wasn't expecting him to pass to me straight away and this is actually good okay oh my god I thought he missed it I thought he quickly missed it but he actually got it so that that is our first goal and I am I, I'm absolutely speechless I freaking thought this guy missed that goal <laughs> okay so okay this is a really good start so this just means that we should be able I mean he shot it straight at the keeper why I mean the AI does this like a lot and sometimes the keepers just miss it because of how um powerful the shot is or something but I'm I'm actually really happy that we're actually on the path to winning this so all we have to do is just hold on and make sure we do not lose this match well, the ball is moving once more how important will that opening goal prove to be at the moment he looks fit he looks sharp and he's full of confidence he's just been too hot to handle and i fully expect him to score again today and eventually break that record and the keeper getting across to stop it they favored a short one here teammates in the middle they just couldn't stay in front and now this match is all square well here's the replay and they work it well just to change the angle on the cross and it ends up with a fairly simple finish certainly not much the goalkeeper can do about that Soler and crossed in there and they deal with the threat this time Might well be scope for them to counter attack here. Can they take advantage of the situation? And still danger here. And he clears it out of harm's way. Zan. Aydara. And now En Naziri. And what can they do to stop him running at them? Well, he knows it. The shot needed to be just a bit. And low. cleared away. The high press was very much on. Must be! And the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save. Well, just listen to these fans. They're urging their team to score here and take the lead. Oh, you don't want to lose the ball in that position. Youssef N. Naziri. And the counter attack is on. Options available. Outdoing his opponent. He's got to score! Well, a fantastic counter attack as they put them ahead, but not forcing it. Dangerous ball. Oh, brilliant goalkeeping. No nonsense clearance. Oh, that's a pass of high quality. Can they forge ahead? And a goal! Ideal for them. And now it makes the prospects of the knockout stages seem very real. Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic see what finish. what they can do here. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. And a goal it is. But offside is the verdict. Well, it's a good finish, but he was just offside. Oh, my God. I'm so happy about that. I was so happy. I was about to flip out just now because I was like, what the fuck are these guys doing? Like, how the hell are they how the hell are they going to like concede that easily again? <sighs> okay, so I requested for a sub and this is going to be the end of my match and hopefully we can sim the match and win it and that would be good for us. I mean we didn't score any goal, but those two assists were good enough for me. And to be honest. <laughs> This was a really, really tense match. I mean, I don't even, like, I honestly don't even care that we, we didn't score because I'm just happy that we're able to get those two assists, that we're able to get 
our team to win and we are through to the knockout stages of the champions league and there is nothing quite like this feeling right now all right so the ballon d'or for this year is coming out and of course messi neymar and mbappe are on that list <laughs> okay okay and sterling is the only lone wolf like he's the only other person that isn't really among but i mean it's pretty cool that neymar is there to be honest so i mean it's probably going to be messi that's going to win it or mbappe i actually would like to know when like who will win it because i actually never ever like catch it when it happens so i just have to be careful when i'm simming through the dates to see if they're going to announce it anytime soon nope it's not here yet all right so we're supposed to play this match against leipzig if we win this match we're going to be getting straight up into the top of the table and i just hope that we are able to so um, i'll just talk to you guys after the match or oh, i'm actually going to look at the match objective so i'll talk to you guys after i'm done with that and after the match well this is the kind of match every football fan looks forward to a lot on the line and the likelihood of a tension-packed occasion it's leipzig they take on Borussia Dortmund, and the action is next on EA TV Live. And to know from the Red Bull Arena in Leipzig, just across the Elster Basin from the plush Kotterbeck training facility. All right, so we are supposed to get a match objective of, sorry, a match rating of 8.5. We're supposed to avoid losing, sorry, we're supposed to avoid losing the match, and we're supposed to get a team possession of. 55 percent we're going to enhance this one right here and let's see what we can do in this match hopefully it's not a repeat of what happened at uh what's their face vfb stuttgart really a very poor ball in with a chance it's opened up for him and a goal that will do it they've been pushing for it and now they've been rewarded Well, I think everybody knew what was coming, but he hit it so well, didn't he? Nobody could do anything about it. That's a good goal. 23 minutes played. Alex keeping us right up to date. Mukunku. Alert defending. And it might be through here. It has to be, surely. In it goes! He's made it a brace for himself. No stopping him, apparently. Well, here it is again. And the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really... Andre Silva. Here's Valverde. An authoritative challenge. Has eyes for goal. And the keeper making sure that Stuart, how about your take? Well, from an attacking point of view, it's been a very good performance. I really like the way they've got the ball from back to front, then how the forwards have got away from their markers, and the speed of their attacks as well. It's been a really impressive first half. And that's the hat trick! Tearing apart this defence time and again, they simply can't handle him. Well, just look at this again. He moves the ball quickly, he gets beyond his marker, and he keeps his composure. It's an excellent finish. And that pass could be troublesome. He's managed to get in behind. Oh, the goal was staring him in the face, but he couldn't avail himself. Emery Jan now. So the whistle then, we're up the half. Alright, so that is going to be the end of the match because we have already scored a hat trick in the first half, and I'm just going to be requesting for the sub and ending the match there. So we're able to get 10 point a 10 point match rating where we won the match and we got a 48% possession, even though we're looking for 55. So it's just two out of the three objectives that we're going to get. So let's just request for the sub right here and yep so we're just we're just going to be trotting off the field now and yeah that's a very that's a job well done because i doubt that leipzig is going to be scoring another goal from now 
and they actually don't. So we scored a hat trick in the first half, and we're really happy with that performance, really. And so is the manager because that took us up to. Uh, I'm just realizing that we haven't been haven't been doing training drills, which sucks because I mean I'm supposed to be doing those. But anyways, there we get a fist bump there from El Nasiri, and we're holding the match ball, and we're, I, I doubt we're going to get the uh, what's it called the man of the match because we didn't finish the match and I mean I don't really care that is going to be the end of the episode let me just do this training drill right here before we close it okay and that took us straight up to first position now we are one point ahead of Leipzig and two points ahead of Bayern and Mojangladbach after the top four the rest are just complete shit and yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to smash that like button and also subscribe to the channel. Drop comments on what you think about the series and if you like it or what you want me to do to improve on it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.